All right, guys, so this video is going to be a pretty quick one. This is going to be how to check and how to change the, the uh, rear end or gear case fluid on your uh, Farmall. This is a Cub. This is a 1949 Farmall Cub. This is going to apply to a lot of different Farmalls. I know I just had a Super A in here, and it was nearly identical. Um, so just in your regular operating, uh, you should always keep an eye on the amount of fluid in here. To do that, you pull out this little plug here. There's a little square-headed plug on the side of the case. If fluid comes out of that, you're good. That's enough fluid, and that's all that little plug is there for. That's, that's the uh, oil check hole or whatever you want to call it. Um, so if you want to drain it and change your fluid out on the uh, rear end here, and this just only applies for the transmission or rear end, whatever you want to call it, this assembly right here. It does not affect these final drives. Final drive is separate. There's three independent kind of oil things going on back here. You got your gear case, which is the biggest thing. Then this final drive is completely independent of anything else. And this final drive is completely independent of anything else. So check out my other videos and I'm gonna make another quick one on how to check and change those. Anyhow, we're just concerned with the, the transmission or gear oil in this video. So to change it, you crawl up under here and on the front of this transmission or rear end or whatever you want to call it there's a square plug right here pull that plug out get your pan let it drain when it stops dripping put the plug back in then come back up here pull out the little uh, this little level plug you pull that out come up here and this is where you're gonna fill it. So you pull that plug out, stick your funnel, fill this up until fluid starts coming out the little one. When fluid starts coming out here, put this one back in, you're done. Put that in, you're done. Capacity on this is only like, I think the book calls for three and a half pints plus a pint for the PTO. I'm not sure how that PTO and all that jives in there, but it, all, it is all the same. So when fluid starts coming out down here, you're done. Um, as far as the type of fluid, I can't even remember what the book calls for. I mean, most people just put in 80W, 90W, you know, 85, 90, 80, 90, whatever that is, the cheap, regular old gear oil. I have heard of guys running heavier stuff. You got weepy seals or something like that. You know, they might run like a 140 or something like that. But uh, that's it. This is a simple one, guys. Don't make it harder than it has to be. I mean, I've heard of guys that take this whole plate off to fill it up. You know, you don't have to. That's, that's what this plug is put here for. And, uh, you know, only fill it up to that little plug there. That's what that's for. That's the oil level, the transmission oil level. Don't fill it up till it comes out the plug up here because then you're running the risk of blowing seals and stuff, and you will be leaky then. You'll think you got something wrong, and all you've done is just overfilled your system. So don't overfill it. And uh, this is a simple one, guys. Don't make it harder than it has to be.